Hi everyone, Stardale here, and so I'm not sure if this uploaded because last time I was having a lot of problems trying to record, so I'm pretty much just going to restart. I'm going to do the same dinosaurs I did last time that I've gotten to so far. And because since that didn't work last time though, I'm pretty much just going to try again. And hope it works. Really, I want this actually work. Okay, so try not playing on C back because I'm not sure if that shows you my email. So I'm not going to show that. Let's go sandbox almost completed chaos theory. Jurassic World. Pretty much all of these I've changed stuff that I don't want. Can't, if this is like multiple episodes, I can't wait for like pretty much instant incubation, no staff required. Can't wait at all. Like it's already just two days. I'm pretty sure that it's coming out. I ow. Say hit somewhere where I'm hurt. Just can't wait. Come on, thank you. He's a one you all. So like we did last time, I'm not going to show you staff. I'm getting all the staff stuff. But we need to kind of do a little prayer. So, like last time, Oh, don't want it on curve right now. Make the path. And going to do a little trick. Rival point. Get on pause. Get all the staff stuff. the uh, medical just in case um just in case if someone gets no help with the starvation just like last time the only need i will have turned off is starvation so i don't care how weird that looks i'm just gonna try and deal with that uh, okay Boom, boom. And let's get a hatchery. And just like last time, we were going to have Struthio Minus and Velociraptor for our first dinosaurs. And like last time, after those, we'll have T Rex. Okay. So, okay. Fractures. So we'll line this up. 
that's pretty much the end of it. Pretty much, not completely. Here's the part I'll be hiring staff, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got that done, let's start incubating some dinosaurs. Herbivore, small. I remember which one these were. There are you, that guy. Boom. Boom. Okay. Now let's think of it him. That was pretty quick, but first off, I think I sh when you enter the park, you should have like the dinosaurs, this one dinosaur will be here, Two, okay. One, two. This is how I normally make my closures. And we'll make it, yes. Okay. Two. Looks horrible. Boom. Okay, so now one, two, one, two. Pretty much go right here. This is where the raptors will be, so it needs to be a little more open, bigger. So we don't want the raptors coming out, eating all of our guests. At least I don't think we do. Some water here. Some trees around here. Around the water. That. And a feeder. This one back here. Okay. So we need to add some more water for decoration because I'm going to turn it off so like they don't need a drink. When the update comes out, I'm probably going to remove a lot of these trees or the fake trees. Like they are real trees in the game. I mean, like. The ones that you can play, place individually. And yeah, I think that's pretty nice. So when you enter, you kind of see this. And let's turn the hydration off. 
This just needs to be her wars only. Boom. And now, so we'll need eight names for them. My name is George Lambert. Now, you'd think that dealing with prehistoric animals would be a problem. And you'd be right, as you probably discovered. But it's the unpredictability that really keeps us on our toes. Sure, the scientists can bring dinosaurs back, but fences keep them in. And without them, the fences, I mean. None of this is possible. There was a lot of controversy about dinosaurs being the ancestors of modern-day birds before this one was introduced into the park. It's an Archaeornithomimus. I think it put some of those arguments to rest. And right there are trained. Oh, hi, Lily. Oh, they all trained. Two of them need to be. So we can be there mainly at the same time. So. And I already know how we will design the T-Rex enclosure. going to be special area for like I don't know where the special area will be there's going to be a special area I won't say where what we'll put in this special area I'll just say there's going to be a special area let's get in our carnivores and just replace her board Carnivore. Let's get Velociraptor. So you know, after I finish making these parks, I always make an abandoned version of it. So I pretty much save it before I make it abandoned. So will look nice. Hang on, let me make it day. Once they're done, take away from you. Why not shrink? Come shrink this guy. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Look, you see them. Look, hang on. Look how much he was just sleeping and managed to mess with his pretty. With his pretty. so bad at aiming. He's, he was literally standing still. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay. Assets in the air. Boom. Heading to pick up the assets. Hang on, now my dog wants to have Now we're going to release the Velociraptor, so we're going to be needing names for them.
brief, and that's it. Done. Just to know what these things are. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they can kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. Let's get ready to drink you guys. I was waiting for that. We're gonna have some shops. And right here, we're going to have a T-Rex. So for him, I'm going to do a face like this. We'll go about the here, up to here. It's a Rex after all, he needs a lot of space. Don't want him to sign just to break out, say. Those look nice. They kind of look like they're tiny, but they look very yummy. I guess I'll eat one. Because those are our guests. If you'd want to eat, you can't have that. We're going to unforce it. Because I need to so we can make it look nice. The Rex, I'm trying to make the Rex enclosure the nicest one. One of the nicest. I think here we could have like some water. It kind of looks like it's going down. So here we need to have some water. Maybe some rocks. Nice. Have that one like this. Make sure it doesn't get too close to the guest. Like you could do that, but I'm not going to. Make it like this one looks like that. Add some force. Since this kind of this part is closest, we have the tall grass. Someone just add it. Probably should add it in the Velociraptor enclosure, but I tried that once. I don't think I could actually see them. And I let those pizza guys are shrink. I'll also transport them. Okay, so they go in this one. Okay. So we'll get this guy next. Then we'll incubate a T Rex. King of the jungle. Oh, I can't wait. Lily, I see you want back in my room. You want in or out? Okay. So I'm not going to keep this door open when I'm making a video. Lily.
Lucy. Now you're back. I wanted you back. And don't get on my glasses, please. Thank you. So, right, are you guys in it? Maybe this guy, yes, and then I... No. I need names for the Lost Raptors, or the Omimus, and the T-Rex, and two other dinosaurs, and then that'll be in the video. The other two are just surprises. Not the ones I was talking about earlier, these are different. No. Maybe no. Now let's go. The large carnivore, Rex. Rex, see the team. Uh, hang on. Sorry. T Rex. So first off, let's see. Can I just make a completely free T Rex? That would be weird. But it would be weird, but it'd also be kind of interesting. Let's make one more. So we have three. No. Bing. Asset has been collected. So you're one I accidentally brought in here. Now I'm too fighting is off, so they won't fight. Dude, did I accidentally bring in two? Asset has been transported. Get their tranquilized. And let's save here just in case because it. Because it's doing a glitch and often my. If it does this glitch, either it fixes easily or my game crashes or I have to go and capture them. This won't ever happen again. This card. I won't do these guys because somehow. Transported. Can you make a random? 
delivered. Delivery has been completed. Let's add some shorts. Thank you, two different ones. And also... more iconic dinosaur than the T-Rex. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze, you understand why the T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. The reason she was growling because Zoe is getting close to her bone and she's protective over her bone. Please don't lay on my phone. If you want to explain, I know it's on PC and console. I don't know what other games it's on. I mean, what other console? What other devices it's on? And I'll be right back. Nothing gets past me, especially mistakes. Make sure you're paying attention to the details or you'll be hearing from me. Who am I? Dr. Henry Wu. What can I say? The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Nature can create a dinosaur, but only I can bring an Indominus Rex to life. To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and, of course, determination. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful and deadly. An alpha predator among alpha predators. So treat it with the care and respect it deserves.
the Indoraptor. This is a dinosaur created with a purpose. It can even see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Now, nature might eventually have created the Indoraptor, but I got there first. Is it dangerous? Yes. But then so is science. standpoint. We can round up escaped land animals, but when they take to the sky, all bets are off. This is the Sepiarodactylus, and we need to make sure it stays confined to the aviary. The only known species of this animal before today was named after the Latin name for frightful. That should tell you something. actually has two distinct types of teeth in its jaws. And it flies. Well, more accurately, glides. dinosaur game. But the truth is, we're entertainers, and our headliners traveled 65 million years to make the show. So let's make it a good one. pterosaurs and is known for its keel-tipped snout. In the aviary, should make for one heck of a drop. That's when we end the video today. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. Let's see, will we go to Shark Feeder? 
So when people come to the park, they want to learn something, sure. But they also want to be entertained. And this marine reptile, the Mosasaurus, is just that, a showstopper. If the T-Rex is the ruler of the dinosaurs on land, that the Mosasaurus holds that title below the waves. Make sure this animal is a premium attraction. Guys, that's going to be the end of the video today. I hope you have a good day, and goodbye.